We weren't called Mad Men at the time. But I was the first black madman, and I was 20 years uh, at Benton and Bowles, became a vice president, music director. I felt I was untouchable. And then they had to cut the budget of the production department, which meant bye-bye, Roy. My reaction after I got uh, downsized was first to panic, yeah, I got a little scared, but then I started meditating. and out of that meditation, calmed down and started taking actions. I had gotten a lot of publicity in the Times because of uh, uh, work that I had done, the jingles I wrote for Beefaroni and Kent Cigarettes and so on. I had gotten a lot of note from the New York Times advertising writer, and so I called him and ad-libbed this new company that I was uh, forming where I would now be able to supply the music that I had been uh, doing to the entire industry, and uh, I will be opening my doors, uh, you know, in the following week. Well, I had nothing. I mean, this was just <laughs> strictly, uh, uh, as I was talking to him on the phone, literally, I was making it up as I went along. Uh, but actually, it came to, came to pass. And not only that, my income doubled uh, after leaving uh, Benton and Bowles. That moment of panic, that challenge, that apparent negative event, turned out it was the best thing that could have happened to me. For me, the, the technique that I use is transcendental meditation. The analogy that I like to use, if, if you take an arrow and hold it in your hand and you have a target there and you throw it like that, you're not going to hit that target very often. But you put it in a, a bow and, and you pull back and you pull back and then you let go and it hits the target. It's a matter of being still, being quiet, and then listening and letting go, and whatever it is that you will, you're gonna hit the target more often.